Welcome back to more World of Outlaws Dirt Racing Micro Sprint Saga. As we're continuing on through the season, we only got like five races left, essentially. We dropped down to seventh because Elm Creek is impossible to drive. We got Fair Break coming up. It is a try harder typical showcase. We had a showcase earlier in the year, except there was no try hards in it. It was just all the regulars, so I don't know. But we do got an advantage because we have to go all out. Apparently, for this this particular series. Full-blown custom setup at Fairbury. I'm going to look that up. There is a video of it online. Thank God that, that that exists. What's unfortunate is not every track there's a setup. It's like Elm Creek there isn't a one. There's not one for Mill Bridge. I don't even think there is one for Grant Park. But there's a couple. Maybe if I dig deeper, maybe I can find more. But we're going to go into Fairbury because... Uh, that's the next race, but let, let's try to just go all out, because that's apparently what you got to do in this this particular series, for how radically imbalanced, you know, Elm Creek and Millbridge is, so I don't know, we'll find out. Alright, that's a full custom setup, I just looked it up online, so big props to the Driver 21 for making this, because I would be so screwed in this particular series so I didn't have anything. So I'm just going to do some laps, get used to it. And I'll, I'll come back and give you an update. Well, I could definitely say right off the bat as a quick first impression, the leaning to left isn't as violent or is as prominent in this setup. It almost seems like it wants it. It turns a little bit easier to the right, too. It it definitely handles good. Uh, lap time-wise, it's about two-tenths quicker than the goal time, which, again, I thought that was good enough for... Uh, Lima Land, but that didn't really translate to good race trim speed, so I have no idea anymore. Uh, the wing is set to negative 5. I think that's what it was set default-wise. Or at least that's what it was in the setup, so I'm not going to touch that. But, yeah, we're just smacking the goal time with the goal times the top 10. So, I don't know. I guess we'll see what we can do in the actual race itself. But, let's get into qualifying. Alright, so I don't think we're going to hit our goal time. That's because qualifying, they always... Hold on. That was a 10.8. Alright, that was actually better. I was going to say, I didn't think we were going to get it. So that's that's promising. It's really sad this is what I have to do. This feels like it's it's kind of cheap to do. But if the game's not going to give me any option, then we're just going to get down and dirty, roll around in the mud a little bit, and just, hey, pun intended because we're dirt racing, but... And that's what we, just what we got to do. If default setups don't work, then uh, this is th this is the only option, and even the rear end ratio. If that don't work, then this is our only choice. So, yeah, I still don't think that's going to make much of a difference when we go to like Millbridge and Elm Creek, just because even if we like run extraordinarily good here, like top three speed, it's all going to fall apart at, th at those two fucking stupid ass tracks. So, there's still a chance winning the championship may just straight up be impossible on 100 difficulty because I'm sure if I just lower it to 85 then yeah I probably will win a, a, a championship in anything but then that's just I'm not lowering it anymore I am not being a bitch and lowering it any further I want triple digit greatness not double digit wimpness also we are really trying to get second place here to get into the qualifying dash but no of course that won't happen that's you know asking for too much so we'll just start Right around 9th to 13th or something. Oh, no, no, 14th. Okay, it's even worse than what I thought. Man, this game's a bunch of bull honk. That's six spots that we lose on track that we really, really needed. Do I gotta have, like, a like a, like a like a regional car? Like, a level 4 everything just to be good local? But then when we get to national, then we're gonna be coming across, like, the same issues that we're having right now. Just the cars will be a lot faster, so I don't know. It just doesn't give me much vibes, but hey, race trim's a different story. Maybe we'll do something. This is a showcase. That's a flip right beside me. So that'll be another typical, you know, bull, bull honky yellow. And of course, of course, that's the other thing too, with this particular series. In the showcase races, there's not really any like regional people coming down into this. It's just all the local ones still. That usually would kind of give us a good buffer because usually be like the top 12 would be just all like the higher up regional people or something. 
but then the locals are kind of just struggling in like 13th or something. That's usually the tracks we can always guarantee to like run well because we can actually compete with them a little bit. But not so much here. It's just crazy. It is just absolutely crazy that oh my fucking god, another wreck. All right, that's two cautions. I was gonna say it's absolutely unbelievable. Even a setup, even a setup, a full setup. We can't like do much with it. Like I mean, maybe I, I mean I guess I really should have compared and contrasted like a default setup to this to see how much faster it was gonna be. But the fact that a level three everything in local series like isn't enough is I mean I don't know if that's glorious game design or really fucking stupid. But in order to win a championship, I have to run better than 10th or 5th. If they're just going to run like 3rd and 1st all the time, I don't know anymore. But hey, we're getting spots on the start, which is nice. So uh, maybe we'll you know, get a top 5. Unfortunately, Jerry Anderson is way up there. So uh, this, yet again, even though it's like a good position, it's still not enough. Unfortunately, closing in at fifth place here. I nipped the wall a little bit, but Anderson's in fourth, so unbelievably not as dominant as you would think. He's always kind of like running first to third, so him running fourth is quite out of character for him. We got P5, and that's a flip again right in front of me, and that puts us up to P4. All right, well, we got a couple laps left to go for P4. I mean, that's that sounds promising, but again. Because I used the outside like an idiot on these starts. Well, I almost got past there. But... I just love that they could just run a bomb lane and just be like really quick with it. For multiple laps at a time. Yeah, I try to do it and it just doesn't work. It's really painful. But hey, we're P4. We're getting a run on Anderson here for third. This might be like the first time we might actually pass him. And gain points on him. Maybe. I don't know. It's, it's kind of weird. Because I'm not, I'm not used to it. But it looks like it may happen. And I think Nelson and this other guy first are... I think they are... They are the, the leeches of this series. So... I don't know. We, we're coming to the white flag, though. We got a potential to get third. It might actually happen. So, uh... Hey, we, we do got pace. That was... Or we could get a yellow right... Oh my god, it's like a Parker Kligerman situation. That's stupid. Alright, I don't know if that really helps us or not, but... That is absolutely a criminal thing to have happen. That is... Does that exist in, the, in dirt racing? Is that a thing? I don't know. Just That seems very evil to just uh, restart the race on the white flag. I don't know. But coming to the white flag, which isn't really the finale of the race anyways. But we're trying to run the top, trying to hang on. It looks like we're going to be able to. I will take a third. And they flip right at the line. <laughs> Alright. Glad we could get out of there. And not damage the car. Jerry Anderson got ninth. Wow, that's not, that's like the first race we were going to gain a lot of points on him. Too bad Elm Creek just ruins the flow of everything. But that's what we need more of. Of course, I think I was the highest finishing local driver too, so... <laughs> Now we're just Justin Allgaier, essentially, from like 2011 to 2015 or 2014. I don't know. Justin Allgaier has like 30 races or something where he was behind like a cup driver. He really should have like 50 wins or something. I, I remember looking that up. Still fifth in the points. Jay Anderson has 56 points over us, so. We are not in the championship hunt at all. But hopefully we go to it, uh, another track where we can put in a custom setup and give us a little bit more of a shot. Impressive skills, Kenneth Mills says. Martina races clean, I appreciate that. Well, one season ago, everybody was like thinking I, that, that was like the worst driver ever. I don't know. <laughs> I guess, I don't know. There's something funny about that. We got Lime Land next. I think there is a setup on it. We actually can... Get a better sponsor. Hey, we can get Stone Mountain because that pays out a little more. The initial payout's not as much, but at least we'll be getting more per race, which I will take. Hey, that, lo that logo looks better on the car than the porta potty one, so I, I like that. 
Okay, races are 50%. I just want to clarify, because I, I didn't know. Oh, snap. Oh my god, I look like an idiot. There is actually a Milbridge setup. It was just in, in this playlist. It wasn't it wasn't in the search result, but it was in a playlist. Okay. That's good to know. There's not... Again, there's no Elm Creek, so I'm still screwed at Elm Creek. But maybe I could have a chance at... at I don't know. L, L, uh, Milbridge now. Uh, at least we got that. Anyways, we're going to Limeland. Full-blown custom setup. So I will be back. I'm trying to think now. I think we might be really screwed if we run, like regional or national because we because then there's gonna be more tracks on the schedule but there's also gonna be more fantasy ones and if that means we're gonna have more chances to run terrible or maybe this is like a game where you can just port in different setups for different tracks and it kind of works out pretty decently i don't know the setup looks pretty close to it there might be minute changes but Maybe this is something where I could just copy and paste a setup into like Elm Creek and maybe it would do pretty decent. I don't know. But it's pretty close to being the same as the other one, I think. It's I don't know. I'm just I'm just noticing stuff. That's not a disrespect or a, a, a slight at the the guy making these setups. Cuz that man probably deserves a medal for having the the, the skill in knowledge to do that, but I don't know. Maybe there is something to it. The wing ain't the wing position's a little bit different, though. I think the other one was like at negative five, so I think that might be just I don't know. I don't know. I'm just I don't know. Okay, okay. I th the setup is definitely a lot better than just upping the rear end ratio. Can't confirm. That probably shouldn't be a shock to anyone, but it is. Because when I raced here earlier, which I think was literally last part, I was running like 11.4s. We are just smashing like 11.2s. So this thing is a good ten, uh, two tenths quicker. So good to know. And this setup, it drives really good. It's very comfortable. I like it. This is like take me back to like NASCAR Thunder 2003, where uh, I was... Uh, I found a setup because back then I had a much mass bigger community and there was people in the comments being like overall pretty helpful and they were there was like the the like the mystical QB setup where QB had like these setups and I was using them and it made like the crew mode a lot more tolerable in Thunder 03 because Thunder 03 you need setup so if you're running default you'll never progress through anything or it will take literally like 20 plus years to get really competitive. Um, so setups gave you like a little bit of a, of a chance. This is what this game is reminding me of. But yeah, that I'll take first. Fuck you, game. I will. I don't even care how cheap it is or, or what. We got about like one one hundredth of a second. We'll see what that translates to in the race. But this this is what we gotta do if we're gonna have three bad tracks or 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 whatever. I will freaking take having a stupid op fast ass car. I don't even care. Like, I have no... The morality of, of trying to do this in a fair way is out the window. But, alright, if we could just... I would love to get a win here. <laughs> this is, uh... I will freaking take it. That was honest. That was great. <laughs> that was a great race. I like it. Alright. Maybe this is the race we gain a lot of points on... I mean, I don't think we're winning the championship. We're like 50 points back, but this is uh, this is what we need. This is, I feel, I mean, this is gonna be great for local stuff, but I'm kind of anxious of like if we have to run micro sprints in like regional or national where there's more fantasy tracks, because there's only so much official tracks to use. I'm not really surprised we're getting past in this this stuff because that's kind of normal. But if we could start, you know, in that top three range, I mean, Anderson is not even in this top three, so that's also very unusual. We'll actually, uh, you know, by, by default, gain points on him. So the hell of a battle for a second, but we got, we, we, we securely got it, we're good. We were actually catching Evans there. Like, we, the fact I was able to do that in a, in a qualifying dash means we're going to run really good. Jerry Anderson started 7th, so 
This could be the race we gain a lot of points on him. Alrighty, on the outside here, which is probably the best lane I need to be in. I have to go through the gears. I have to get used to it. I'm not used to going through like, five different gears. Alright, everything kind of settled out. These were on the high lane. He's being smart. And now we'll just have to wait. Because I, based on the qualifying dash, we're kind of keeping up with them. So I think we have the car in pace to do it. In fact, we'll just go up a lane higher. We actually gave him a little freaking bump and nudge. A little, little short track stock car action there. I mean, hey, that's where Martina Truex's father came from. And his daughter is just from a different world. Now we're just going to try to pass him straight up on the outside. And we did it. Hell yeah, let's just win this. Screw this game. I'll, I'll take a win however I can. I just want to include this part because I am passing lap cars with a bit of common sense. Look at that. We bobbing, dodging, and weaving. I'm passing them accordingly, and of course they wreck, so we gotta have our, you know, entertainment yellow. Nah, it's not even like an unjustified yellow, it's just... Scrubs wrecking in the back. Gotta get a good start here because, you know, it doesn't seem like we're really fast initially. Seems like it takes us a little bit to really kind of get up to speed to be quick. Just need that, like, top lane to kind of build up momentum. So that's definitely a chance for Richie Evans to, uh, Richie Evans. <laughs> it's Eddie Evans or something. I'm Richie Evans, a different person. But, alright, we're good. We'll just pull away. And of course, Jerry Anderson went from running 7th on that that caution, now just in 3rd, effortlessly. That's painful. I, I was really wanting to gain more points on him. Like, flags out. We are clearly way fast. Of course, I can't avoid a lap car. That's just, 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 just tradition. But we're going to get a dub. The micro sprints. Fudge you, game. We did it. I don't care if it's a setup. Don't care. We won it. And now I know that whenever we go to Lima Land, that's like a guaranteed win dub track. So, that's good. Especially if we got Millbridge and Elm Creek. So this is going to like balance out the trash. Still fifth in points. We only gained six points. I guess I didn't even notice too. Uh, the Midgets points and this point system is a lot different. There's a lot bigger of a gap when you win a race. Or like the top four are like really close together. So it's really first and second. It's like a four point difference. And then after that it's just two points all the way through. So we only really gained six points. So uh, yeah we are now 60 points back. So I don't know what really to say. Ken Hall is up there too. And he, uh, he loses points. So the championship battle for first and second is close. But now we know what to do for next season. Like we got a plan. Smooth driving again, so the car is in good shape. And I don't even know what really to say. That that went really, really well. We get a local series win that gives us the whole cinematic for it. I'm sure we're going to get like a clip thing about it. Race is hard but clean. Thank you. Unfortunately, I wish I could say that about the lap traffic. Because I, I don't ever seem to drive the lap traffic very well. But next up's Kokomo. And... I don't even know what goal to go for. That's a really wide net to cast because it's either win top 15 or 30. And it's, well, I never, I don't, I ever ran at Kokomo with a setup. So I don't know how that's going to go, but sure, we'll try a race win. <laughs> uh, where did we run there earlier in the year? I think we, uh, okay, we got seventh. But at Lima Land, we were running fifth. So we may not be able to win, but we may be able to run like top three possibly. I don't know. But do you, look at the average finish. Oh my god. No wonder why it's really, really freaking difficult. In midgets, like their average finish would usually be like ranging around fifth. But yeah, average finish a third. Uh, yeah, no wonder why I'm like struggling so hard in the points. So the stats back it up too. Anyways, on to Kokomo. It seems to be a pattern with this the 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 uh the shock bumps and shock rebounds always being at three for the all the tires. So, interesting to see. Tire pressures always remain at 9. So, I'm seeing a pattern. I mean, if there is changes from track to track, it might vary slightly with the wing position and maybe the 
the wheel lock maybe which more that might be more of like a personal preference thing but maybe this setup would apply at like kokomo or not kokomo geez at a prairie view or something Maybe I should just try it for next season and see what happens. It might be a disaster, but it's got to be better than what we're currently running. Now, in his video, he was running like 10.3s, but he might that might be like a fully upgraded car in like a you know, race now situation, which obviously race now is going to have like the car fully maxed out. But if we could be relative to that, like roughly around that type of lap time, we'll be good as long as I don't hit the tires like the dumbass. I keep doing it. Actually, what's really interesting is we are nailing the goal time, and the goal time was set for, like, first place, so are we technically faster than first place right now? The car is definitely set up a little bit different, at least for this track. It's It feels like it's leaning a lot more to the left. I don't know, maybe I'm just seeing things. But it does like to drive down the bottom lane really good. Before, it was kind of just sliding, but here it just seems like it has overall just way more grip. So, that's good to know. This, uh, next season, we're going to be in really good shape to win a championship, I think. Even, I mean, as long as we just run, like, even top, top, bottom half of the top ten, maybe, that should be good enough. Especially with Limeland being in the schedule twice, that's two guaranteed wins and a lot of points to gain. So, I think with custom setups, this should be possible. Maybe Kokomo is another track we can win at too. I don't know. Right, it's not exactly pull time, but it's gonna be pretty cool. <laughs> okay, never mind. I was gonna say we were like two tenths off the, the first lap, which was gonna put us right around ninth place, maybe eighth. No, we're just first. I maybe this will be another one we can win. <laughs> That's that'll be really good. Kind of curious how the outside line will work, because in the video the guy was running primarily the bottom lane, and even before. Uh, in Kokomo, like the midges, I would always kind of run the bottom because it did seem like it worked the best. So, uh, I don't know, but I'm just going to do what he's doing because clearly he's got a better idea of how to drive these tracks than me because I am the worst driver at, in this in, in YouTube history at this series and, and, and game. So, we're just pulling away. So, this might be another guaranteed dub, too. We're going to need all the buffering if we're going to run terrible at Elm Creek and Millbridge. So, <laughs> it's going to be kind of like a sad season where we're going to have. Like a four or five win season or something next year, and we're gonna barely win a championship because Millbridge and Elm Creek are in the schedule. <laughs> All right, that was about as simple as it could get. Starting first in a qualifying dash naturally. Hey, that that, that eleven car beside me's got the same sponsor as me. That's wholesome. So yeah, just get through this first corner. Try to hang on the bottom lane. Try to not let anybody get like an opening. So I'm kind of taking like a shallow entry in the corner. Which is in turn going to make me lose the lead. Of course, that's Anderson there. And he's the, the guy that got the same sponsor as I do. Well, that's adorable, but now I'm also annoyed. Oh, well, he took the high lane there in the last corner. He really cut the gap, but he got the good runoff. He'll get second. The fact I was even able to keep up with him in the qualifying dash gives me good vibes that in the race trim, maybe we'll win. We're on the outside though, but we can quickly just swift down the bottom immediately. Get through the gears. We actually got a bit of an opening there. I don't know if going to, to like manual gears helps with the shifting to make it like faster. I don't know. But we temporarily lost second place, but should be able to gain it back. I did not shift into fifth yet. I don't know why I didn't do that, but. Alright. Now the battle begins to try to run down. Okay, perfect. Second place going up high, not the best strat. We'll be able to slide job, get the spot. And now we just have to try to run in Anderson's track, so we just try to run a little bit lower. Or, you know, use the draft, because, you know, I, I was I was stupid. I didn't, you know, I didn't think to use the draft here, but, you know, we slingshot to him, because, you know, we got the draft, we'll get to the inside of him. Do a little bit of side drafting, because, you know, that's the thing you do in dirt racing, where you side draft to... You know, slow their momentum down. You know, it's just typical, simple knowledge. You know, you, you got to be stupid to not understand that. We're actually right there with him. So I think if he goes up to the outside, like, one corner, we're going to be able to get by. Or maybe lap traffic can mess up. Or lap traffic can flip right in front of us. We actually lost the spot, too. So that's actually mildly annoying. All right, rack him up. Do it again. Get up through the gears. Really good. Actually, 
almost got an opening there. I wish Anderson was not the leader, because this would be great if it was every anybody but him. But it's going to be really hard to get by him, I think, so... It doesn't help, too, that Edwards could just run the outside and just make it work. Maybe Edwards can win. That would be nice. Decided to try using the outside line as, like, a last-ditch effort. Get a good run off the exit, get a great run there, just throw it down the bottom. That might be enough to get second or secure it. I don't know, I'm going to try going back up the outside. I'm going to expect to get slide dropped here really badly, I think. Or not. All right. We got a lap car here. Let's just get by him, no problem. Take it back up to the outside lane. I don't even know if the outside line is running, like, any better. But this will definitely be a good way to set up and we build up, like, enough of a run up off the corner. And just throw it down low to carry the momentum and try to pass him that way. That might be, like, the only strat we can try to do it. Just like that. Just like that. That was tactical. All right, new leader. That was a little bit harder. That was with two to go, too. I didn't even know it was that cl we're cutting it that close. It might be a bad idea even going up to the outside, but we'll get a good exit off. Clear them. Oh, this is this is juicy. This is a good battle. Lap, I'm sure live traffic's going to mess it up. Yep, got my way a little bit, but we just got by no problem. He's on the bottom, on the top. We'll just get a good run off. Just. <laughs> that was good. That was good stuff. It's hard, to, it's hard to focus on all of that, but we barely got the win by, like, two-tenths of a second. How close was that? Like, in the in the thing, because... Ah, we had a bit of a gap, but... That felt way more intense. <laughs> that's good, that... That's what I expect out of, a, out of a car like this, with the rating that we have. Like, maybe that we're not just gonna, you know, dominate, but... He gave me a good fight. That is good stuff. I want to point that out for people think I'm always negative. That good stuff. And that's a dub, too. So now we know Kokomo is a really good track for us with the setup. So, man, we, we, get, I mean, we only gained four points. And that's still, what, 56? We're still, ugh, 56 back, I think. We're really not gaining a whole lot of points because it's just, it's just not enough, but... Next season, we'll definitely have a, a real, a real honest to God shot. So that's good. And we're baking up more money, good merch sellings, all that. Like, w if we do, when we do another season of this, we'll definitely have, like, definitely more than enough money to go into the next series. Which, what, what will that be? I guess the big block modified because we actually technically have enough right now. My piece of paper, everything. If we max everything, I'll be like two hundred twenty-two thousand for level three. I think we already have more than that. And we have to factor in the, the mechanic discount with 12%, so... We'll be... We'll have more than enough to upgrade everything. In fact, we actually just earned more than enough right there in that race, so... Well, we gotta repair stuff, but... Point is, by the end of Season... Technically, it's Season 2, but it's really Season 3, because we had an entire season where we just hired Driver, because I messed that up at the beginning of the season... Beginning of the groom of trying that out. But... Hey, that's my fourth career win. One one of them was off camera at Sterling County, but career win number four. I think there's an achievement for like 200 wins, so someday we'll we'll maybe get that if we ever run the screw that far. Because I think in 22 we only ran, I think I got like 40 wins maybe. I don't know. But next part will be Prairie View and then Millbridge, and then that will be it for this season. And maybe we'll, I guess next part will be two mill bridges <laughs> or something so we got that to look forward to i suppose but for now uh we'll wrap it up so don't know what we don't have a setup for prairie view but maybe i could port in one of these setups in, into that and see if it works i don't know i have to experiment with what the like defaults like what a default setup does normally and then what the rear end ratio adjustment does and then we'll have like i'll have to test out three different things to to see but yeah, we'll figure it out. Anyways, I'm done. See you all next episode. See you all later. And as always, have a good day, everyone.